Right back like I never left. Fighting look the show. All right, that's my time, y'all. Get your little ugly ass thing that was really you. <laughs> that actually don't really work on here. I was going to use that as a stand-up joke. But because y'all see the time, the duration of the video. So it didn't really work. I know, but you probably go, oh, what happened? I thought it was out of there. All right. Um, anyway, we're going to jump right into this one. Funny looking skits. I'm kind of feeling this shirt. Pull out my muscles. Oh, oh. <sighs> Don't mind me, just putting on my hoodie. Nothing to see here. Uh huh. Who you, bro? All right, keep on moving, keep on walking. All right, go ahead, go ahead. What you doing? Oh yeah, what's up? 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 What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What's up? What's up? Yeah, yeah. Now I really feel when you got a hoodie on. Yeah, I'm about to beat this nigga ass, shorty. Put that fucking hoodie on. I'm about to whip your ass, no nigga. Yeah, I got this side. I got this side. Stop playing with me, shorty. Yeah, put that fucking hoodie on, shorty. Whip your old ass, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> Little chump ass, though. <laughs> Talking oh, that shit friend, now, boy. You know your little ass is scared as I don't know what when you're ready when you're here, boy. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Psst. Psst. Hey. You see me? Hey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's going on, bro? Where you been at? Huh? Oh, you don't know who I am now, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm in the shadows now. You just saying like you got somebody new now. Yeah. I'm talking to you. Yeah. Yeah, you. Yeah. I'm right here. All right. Yeah. Remember me, motherfucker? Yeah, you don't use me no more since you got your little new bitch now. Come on, bro. You know I still love you, man. Ain't nothing going on. You know, I just lost some more slight upgrade. You know, things change. You know, ain't nothing like that, man. You feel me? Come on, bro. It's better than that. Come on, now. You know what I mean, bro? Ha, little dumbass that he's still getting used. We got this bitch, honey, big trust. We got this bitch, honey, big trust. <laughs> Today we have eating in public versus eating in private. Here we have the regular fork. Here we have the salad fork. It's no fucking difference. That's just white people shit. And it's on the TV shows and the movies. Okay, here's how I'm going to pour my drink. Nice glass. Mm. Sorry, pardon my manners. Pinky. Ah, so parched. Salad fork, regular fork. Mm -hmm. Don't mind what I'm eating. This is just for the skit purposes. Mm -hmm. I'm not even really eating because you see I didn't put the goddamn fork in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah, I'm eating private. I ain't gotta worry about no motherfucking rules. You said, hey, you 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 said a what? <laughs> nah, just give me a spork spoon, spoon fork. I don't care, bro. I'm trying to eat. Whatever. The butler get it. I ain't got no butler. Y'all get it. Eating in public and eating in private. <laughs> Tired of waking up, bruh. 
That's annoying, bro. Dang, shit, bro. Come on, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm gone. Let's go. <sighs> Get done with this morning shift and be fucking old with this shit, man. I'm about to fucking quit my job. I'm not playing, bro. I'm just about to be done with this. I literally, it's just too much. Moving on up. A nigga just got off. <laughs> See niggas on a bus, and I, I'm about to go in my house. A nigga off, a nigga off. Niggas still going to work. I done clocked on already. Drop my stuff home. Honey, I'm home. Nigga, get off before it even get four o'clock. Hey, it ain't even five o'clock yet. And your niggas still working. You just clocked in, and I'm off. BGS. And now I can chill, cause a nigga already went to work. Oh, y'all niggas just clocked in. Oh, oh, y'all niggas just clocked in. Oh, nothing special, just skits, right? You know, uh, it was pretty funny though. You know, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, but the next one is pretty special. Now, for those of y'all in relationships, or especially the ones looking for relationships, that's pretty hard to do nowadays. I think y'all want to take a little att attention and listen to this one right here. Up next, we got Relationship Goals starring <laughs> myself and uh, another lovely special K. Hey, hello. All right. So it is working. It's a little setup. So for today, we have Relationship Goals with myself, funny looking yo, and uh, also special K. Now, due to the, it's been a little slight hold up, and I don't like no fabrication, but it's going to be a little different now because we kind of in a starting over phase, and um, I know that's kind of awkward because we still doing like relationship goals. She wasn't even about to finish this show out with me, but I'm glad she did because I needed this segment to kind of like make my show better. You see, she looking at me like crazy now, but uh, we kind of short on time as it is, so I'm going to speed it up play some music a little bit not too much to be crazy um but yeah let's get into it so like i don't really gotta worry about the camera being in but like basically i just want to know like i don't know where we stand in a sense i know we trying to do this starting over thing and like what do you mean what we stand? uh well like i don't know how do you feel about me because like at first well, we both agree that we are single as of right now single as of right now all right what you mean? We came for that agreement for that. I know. I'm just saying, but I can, let's let's elaborate a little bit. Go ahead. What? To elaborate, we are single, but we're not in interacting with other people. We're just working on ourselves to be better for each other. That's what we're going for. All right. So, I mean, yeah, that's true. And like, we basically like we 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 still. It's like almost in a sense like we married and we like separated. But we still legally married and like we ain't get a full divorce yet and whatever it may be. But like, so can I tell them about our little house? Um, yeah. Alright, so look, alright, cool. Alright, we got this little cool thing where I kind of thought of it. And this honestly probably why she even talking to me now. So we was in Walmart, you know, there may be, I'm not an ignorant motherfucker. So it, was, it, it we went to Walmart, we needed stuff for the house, or whatever it may be. It's quarantine, yada, yada, yada. We technically ain't going nowhere. I got, so I was like, alright, we, we said we single. Shall I get my air mattress? She like, yup, yeah, get it. I'm like, all right, so she's serious. All right, buy the air mattress or whatever it may be. And and, she, and I did, and, but that changed the game. I got my own air mattress now, got my TV in the living room. All right, whatever it may be. So I was like, you know what? I was tired of it being awkward and me and her just like being in the house and just like enemies, you know what I mean? I don't want to live with somebody that seems like they want to stab me in my sleep. So it's like, I just looked at him one day. I was like, all right, so look, check this out. Let's just start over, go back to the basics, you know, kind of do this thing like regular. And so basically, um, it's like, I was just like, all right, let's kind of make it like a house thing. If we technically separated, she got the bedroom, I got the living room. It's like, hey, you want to come over to my place? And she be like, I want, you want to come over to mine sometime? A little cheesy Netflix and chill. Well, it's kind of cute and it's cool. What you think about the house thing since we've been doing it so far? Um, in your first time apart, we got like our personal space. 
I like it. I'm not gonna like it's cheesy, but I like it. Uh, it feels like I'm getting to know you all over again. I know, right? It's like kind of like fresh. Like, I don't want to mess it up. She fresh. And right here, you, I don't know if y'all can see it, but got our little snacks, you feel me? Got pop tarts, got we, bubble we, gum, got way. fruities. Oh, my bad. But um, we even got cough drops, you know, COVID. And I don't even have no coughing on my show. You cough, you dismiss. But um, no, but basically, like, I just feel like I'm going to wrap this up, make it short. Uh, everything, basically, to sum it all up. She worth the fight, you feel me? And it seemed like, yeah. and it's it's like when you when you know when you find something that's worth the fight, you know you want to just keep on swinging. Hey, shout out to my man's Reggie, uh, twelve rounds, keep swinging. But uh, oh, she know him too, actually, ironic. But um, <laughs> basically, yeah, you know, she worth the fight, and I feel like it ain't no point to keep on going around trying to mess with all these other people. I don't want to do that. Genuinely, I don't. And I, well, I already know, regardless, you're not going nowhere. Even if you was to mess with somebody else, you're still, you're not going to leave me alone. Leave me not. I'm not going nowhere. That's just what it is. Sorry, ladies. Uh, but yeah, and that's basically all this is, you know. It's just like a start of So now this relationship goes, it's probably going to be our progress through our relationship since we kind of doing a fresh start. And it's like not completely like, yeah, but... It was cool, you know, life too short, you know, we in the COVID quarantine, stay safe, home, stay safe, but we out relationship. Listen, y'all, listen, y'all, y'all better understand that this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning, not for us, nowhere near for us. We've been going in this four years strong, like, uh, we can start a whole book if we wanted to. I'm telling you, like, it's just the beginning for us. If y'all keep on staying in tune, being here and watching the relationship goes, trust me, there's going to be a lot of nice stuff kicking up. We're going to give y'all a bunch of topics and everything, man. <laughs> Relationship goals, man. It's, 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 it's real out here. And you want to find that one you can, you feel me, trust and, and be with. So, uh, yeah, keep on checking us out. Yeah, for real, man. Like, with us, man, it's like having a second child. You feel me? You, it's like we one person. We got to share everything. Like, I'm telling you, man. Couples, it's, it's, it's a good thing. It's pro and cons, you feel me? But you got to learn to be mature and work through it. I ain't going to talk y'all to death. Uh, last but not least, we got cooking with fly. Yeah, boy. Actually, let me say this real quick so I don't have to talk in the cooking with fly episode or segment. Cooking with fly is actually its own thing, but I already had these shows previously uh, written down. So we're just going to run a small part of it in this segment. If you want to find the rest of the cooking with fly episode number two, just check it out on my page. Thank you. Welcome back, welcome back, cooking with fly. I'm a little wrinkled today. Um, usually the damn dryer is supposed to fix your iron and wrinkling, right? It's like my dryer, you feel me, just made it like a oh, hundred times worse. But I ain't gonna talk your hell off. Hell off. <laughs> I ain't gonna talk your heads off. We got cooking with fly. And today, before I set that down, we are gonna show y'all what burgers from fly look like. Might not all look like that with this bad boy right here. Let's start off first. You want to do this. Cut it on. Yes, sir. Put it like midway. Midway, midway. That'll do the job. Get it hot. Get it nice and right. And it's cooking with fly. Let's get it going. Episode two. All right. I was wrong. That was not the first thing. First thing, let's show the funny looking yo with the big trust. I don't care what Lamar Jackson talking about now. He want to switch it from man S's and now it's Z's when he get it tatted on his chest. Big trust with the S. I ain't saying it no other way. Anyway, first thing. Yep, you guessed it. Let's go and wash these bad boys. Because you can't cook on a dirty hand. That's nasty. That's nasty. All right, so this heat on this grill, I'm calling it a grill because the way my flat iron thing, cast iron thing is. But anyway, always want to start off with a hot pan. That's rule number one in, the, in, in cooking anything. Start off with, with it being hot, like hot pan type thing. No, all right, I lied. Okay, the normal mode is to wash the hands. But we got past that part, hot pan. So with me, I don't usually like nothing sticking. I'm not gonna go nothing too crazy because the burger gonna cook his own grease. Just get us a little shake. Not on me, but a little spray. Shimmy shake, shimmy shake. Look like we got a little heat on it already. All right. 
So in about, I give it two, three minutes, I'm going to put the burgers on. You don't want to overdo it. And I'm going to show you why. I can explain it, but why I even talk no anymore when I can just show y'all them lines on them burgers. <laughs> oh, boy. Watch what I say. Just watch. Oh, I already did the fries. It's not much. They was like checkers roll fries. I did them in advance. They would have took forever, and they wouldn't. Have, my burgers would have got done faster. So yeah, fries. I put them in the oven. I, my fiance hate when I do that because she like it. And I cook them in the oven. That shit same difference to me. Let me see. Yep, same difference to me. All right. Sorry to keep y'all waiting. Y'all really wasn't the ones waiting. It was me because I'm the one doing the cooking, and I just. Edited my video and just skip to the next scene. Anyway, so when I put this on there, that burger should come smack hot as soon as I slap it on there. Pretty much. I won't get the best lines. Uh, now I'm going to show y'all the best lines. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to put it in the middle and I'm going to give y'all the best lines. Now, the reason why I said that, uh, if you watched the first episode and I talked about how when you center something in the middle of your burner, my burners are a little small, so I have to definitely sit that burner in the middle. I mean, put the burger in the middle, or else y'all won't get them lines that I'm talking about. So it's cooking with fly. I'm going to take my time and show y'all the steps, show y'all the ropes, and let that baby cook. Now with this, the these burgers are fairly thin. They're more thin than I usually would have preferred my burgers. But um, it's that's beside the point. But it is it does make a point. Now I said that to say I'm looking at this and I know I had it on high heat. But if you look at the burger, it already seems that it's getting like that grease built up on the bottom, and you can kind of see it slightly turning brown. But it's obviously not done brown. But you can see that it's getting the color. You're not burning it. Relax. Keep the burger sitting. Don't play around with your burger. Don't go and use your spatula and flipping it and tossing it and moving it. And you, you're literally destroying your burger and you're making it cook longer. I promise you, I've been in the kitchen for five years. May not say that long for some people, but when I say I was in the kitchen for five years, that's nine different restaurants. So I've been it and seen it all, pretty much. And like, what I'm saying is, watch. Do you guys and gals want to figure out how to get good sear on the burger what is a sear a sear is basically that nice pretty top of the burger or bottom if you're really good you can get both but th the show side is the most important side but at least get one side looking like a burger you don't want it all scraped up and chopped up like people was playing with it this is what you do so that seems like it's good enough don't fight your burger if listen if I put this spatula under my burger and it don't move on its own I'm probably gonna let it sit. Now, here we go. Let's see. So it gotta move, so you're gonna slightly turn it the opposite way. That's, that's it. Simple as that. Lift it up, turn it, ignore my daughter, uh, and, and, and you're gonna basically just do a slight rotation. And all you're gonna do, you're basically taking this line right here. You're turning your burger. Boom. So yeah, like I was saying, you're gonna get it from here, to here those lines should make that that's why you flipping the burger strip wherever you had it at just slightly turn it oh oh boy them taste buds gonna go crazy taste so good make you wanna hey yeah, how you, you get there i wasn't gonna say it i wasn't gonna say it relax all right now that she gone yeah she better have left she better than that. <laughs> now, let me stop playing. <laughs> I love my mother. It's like, nah, yeah, nah. <laughs> For real, I love my mother. But, uh, well, moving on. Oh, actually, that's all we got for tonight, folks. I'm not sure what time it is there. Uh, I'm not sure what time it is here, technically, after I post this. But I do know one thing. It's happy hour somewhere. Pull up, pull up. Nah. You don't drink? Okay. Well, uh, this is it. So I don't know what you're doing, but bye-bye.